Welcome back to the 2018 Golf Industry Show here in San Antonio, Texas. GCSA TV Live brought to you by Lebanon Turf. I don't think we're in the home stretch yet. I got a couple hours left of these 15 minute conversations. This one is going to be about this, this stage and wonderful space that we are inhabiting right now. I'm joined by Shelly Urish, mm -hmm. the Golf Course Superintendents Association trade show manager for this entire operation, probably, and I'm sure already planning San Diego. And the yes. executive director of Golf Course Builders Association, Justin Apel. Thank you for both for joining Thank us. We were having a lively conversation about conceptualizing something because coming back this year, again, you know, I find myself saying the same thing over and over, almost many of the guests. When I came here 20 something years ago, mm -hmm. which I did, uh, we might have played <laughs> around a little bit, but the scale you have gone to now is dramatic and we're going to get to that. But I look at the space, I was talking to a vendor earlier, yeah. and uh, the vendor, uh, in fact, I was talking to the Lebanon Turf guy, Chris Gray, Chris Gray yes. was the guy here, yep. and he said, I really like what they did with the design and layout of this thing. So let me use that as a launching point for how something like this comes together when you're trying to design an experience, not where yeah. to put the tractor, not where to put the dirt, but nope. let's talk about it at 30,000 feet from an experience. Yeah, absolutely. So where we start is when we lay out the show floor, we take a blank map of every little inch of the, the building. My team and I sit for hours upon hours just staring at it and, and talking about the flow, the attendee experience, right. what people are going to experience, how easy they're going to get to it, how easy they can navigate it. Yeah. So one of the things that we look at is where all the hotels, where are people going to be feeding into the building, mm -hmm. how easy is it to get to the, you know, the eating. It's very, we map out kind of all the points. Okay. And then together we sit there and say, okay, you know, we, first we start with the aisles and how that will flow from one okay. end. This building's a very unique building because it's very linear and then it drops down into mm -hmm. this. These little pockets. These little pockets. This is a huh. pocket. So for me, this was a little bit of a weakness uh -huh. Because if we would have built the green out there, then last, last minute exhibitors would be hanging out back here with nothing to look at but a wall. That's right. And all the hotels are far to the right of this building. Uh -huh. So when we looked at it, we said we need to drive everybody to the far left, That's right. put something here so that That's they right. work the floor from the left to the right. Yeah, and it sounds like the word I heard you say that's a guiding principle is you wanted to make it easy and comfortable for people to move through the space. Correct. That's if they have to like, where the hell am I, where am I going? And yes. I remember again, when this thing used to be three, four times the size that it is yeah. now. How long you been with GCSA? Uh, 17 years. So you remember those days, yes, right? In, very much. in the golf boom days, he's smirking because yep. he remembers those <laughs> yeah. days. Yeah. That's exactly right. So eventually you have to design where to put something at the scale. So let's start with, as we pivot to Justin, first with you, how did you decide to go from what you were doing in the past, which was nowhere near this scale, I don't yeah. think, to this scale of more a, a real sort of stadium approach to it? Yeah, so a couple things. Um, we wanted to create a wow experience. What we want to do for the health and the longevity of the show is create an experience that if somebody has not attended our show, they right. go, wow, yeah. I want to go to that show and yeah. check it out. Yeah. We, we want, to, yeah. want to put us on yeah. the map, Yeah, people go to the car show in New York. Correct. You know why they go to the car show in New York? Because they spin some car that is never going to get built. Exactly. In a circle, and they put fancy lights on it. Yes. But everybody wants to go. Yes. Everybody wants to go. And I bet, did this make some local news? Yes. People probably yes. love, hey, the golf show's in town. Guess what? They build a golf hole out here. Yeah. So, you know, obviously the wow effect, at least sitting in this space most of the time and watching the, the duck, the dogs yes. chase the ducks yeah. around. And the, and this t I had a group, my, uh, my Bill Kreiser from Nebraska is giving a talk to people in the stands on the thing yep. over there. So you're adapting it. It seems multi-purpose. So that's the background of the experience. Now it's time for moving dirt and hauling sod and bringing in tractors and where the hell does the exhaust go? Because not everything was a, not everything was electric. So you're not going to be burning the fuel for very long, which meant maybe a lot of handwork. Justin, take us through the process from the napkin. From the napkin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the napkin. From the napkin. Yeah, well, once we walked around and saw that uh, of, of where places, key things needed to be placed, mainly the registration, we kind of worked backwards off of that engineering. Um, honestly, towards the freight doors, because as you see, we need to get some big equipment in here and a lot of it. And so uh, based on that, we kind of come up for 
looking like a golf hole, and in this case, a finishing hole at a golf tournament, mm -hmm. um, it was our goal to have that as people entered the building to register. That wow factor, and like you said, you know, making people say, did you see that? Exactly that way if right. someone misses the show, exactly they'll right. say, oh, you missed this. That's exactly right. So the scale that you did it, and the things that you had to do, like a good building of a golf course, <laughs> requires partnerships among a number of different associations. And of course, the associ this, this, uh, this particular show has probably gained association partnerships, and then I think it shrunk for a period of time, and now it's stabilized that it's still with the golf course builders. So it was the GCSA, the builders, and? So it's the National Golf Course Owners Association. And the Owners Association, right? right? Yeah. So the three associations came together to do this. Absolutely. And how? Did everybody get along? We, I mean, we're, no one's watching. There's no, no one here is <laughs> yeah. watching. There's no one online watching this. No, I mean, obviously, it wouldn't have happened if we couldn't all pull together and make this happen. Exactly I mean, right. and, and we were talking to Matt the other day. I mean, out out on the straight show floor, we have competitors. We all, you know, there's a lot of competitors, and there were competitors there working together, and it's all because we love this industry, we love the game, and yeah, we yeah, love. Yeah the people who make this game. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think it's the same feeling uh, golf course superintendents get when they prepare for tournaments, because Correct. let's face it, it's the big wow when the television lights yeah. come on. And I have to say, I didn't think at all that it was related to the finishing hole of a, of a tournament, but as soon as you said, I'm like, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's a really cool idea, so, so go ahead. And that's what we wanted this viewpoint to be, because right. our members and everybody that attends the show is responsible for building <laughs> the inside the ropes at a major golf tournament. Exactly right. We feel that everybody that's at the show is our VIPs and at there our major go. golf tournament. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted that view to be their yeah. special trip, a tribute to them. Yeah, and I so. think it's a really cool thing and you need the cooperation, but ultimately there's a timeline. Well, that's where... Let's talk about the timeline. Building something like this. How <laughs> long did it take from the minute you got here to when they said, okay, we're good to go. Ask me at 12, 59. <laughs> it's not done night, yet, it's not done you. yet. No, we, you know, so we, we come in early, but you know, the design of this is no different than if this was outside and, or if this was a real golf course mm -hmm. um, at, at a facility, and that is, you, you, it's designed with function first, right? Mm -hmm. So we know what we need to display out here. We knew what the purpose of this area was for education, and so mm -hmm. that was designed. The other key principle that was into this is minimalization. You know, that's mm -hmm. a common term you hear now in golf course design, and that is let's, let's move as little amount of material yeah, as yeah, possible yeah, to still yeah. give that effect. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. Okay. To do and bury the, this concrete would have taken probably 600 tons of material. So we said, but we can't do that. We'll bust through the floor. <laughs> let's, let's not maximize in case the convention center person is listening. That's let's, right. Let's that's get into a threshold that, right. can, that can balance you know, the weight of the equipment and the pile of material. Well, you and don't it, know what she told them you were going to do. I know. No, so, I think my microphone, they shut yeah, it there off. There we go. That's exactly right. No, but we, you know, we, we go bake the piles and then uh, we put the talent on the machines. Yeah. And these machines uh, are really designed for not this type of work, but in the golf construction industry, you know, a, you're not just digging a trench. Uh, these machines will turn their buckets at different angles yeah, to exactly give us the right. contours, exactly right. pack in the material, and uh, as you look out there, that's how you create these bunkers, uh, flat top of green, and mm -hmm. uh, carve in what, what it is you see here. But there's 350 tons of material under there uh, to bring it in in the largest trucks we could based on the ceiling height yeah. and the ability to turn a truck yeah, around. I mean, it's logistics mm -hmm. like oh, everything oh, else, yeah. except you're doing it inside. Yeah. In some ways, what do you do outside? You haul dirt, you shape it, Right, yep. and then eventually you got to yeah. put some grass on. He put you didn't put drainage. There's no drainage. No dra Oh man, <laughs> no water. A lot of compaction. No water, no I'm noticing that people are doing the cut throughs. Even guys who grow grass cut through in over traffic areas. Yeah. So right. if everybody's saying, "Oh, I get rid of the golfers," they can see what they're doing <laughs> themselves around here. But right. I think what it seems to me you were trying to do, both with the construction and with the experience, was to engage with everybody. Right. Yes. And I, and I think that's what everybody is trying to do uh, on the show floor to some yeah. to some degree. And I think you're right. There was this when people when people were, were registering, there was this wow factor. Now, we um, have to, at some point, talk about cleaning this up. It's probably a good idea. I yeah, got he's two right Wait, are you, are you leaving? What, you, what, what are your plans, Shelly? <laughs> I'm not staying. <laughs> oh, boy. So, it has to we be cleaned up, right? So, yes. it, you know, when, one more time. When you started putting something in the ground, it was what time last week? Friday, uh, it was Friday morning last Friday week. Friday morning, and we went live in this space for the opening Wednesday. Yep. And it took essentially that time. 
We actually had it ready uh, Tuesday afternoon because uh, the opening reception for the golf course builders was held uh, in this space, nice. as well as our general membership That's meeting. Right. And then we had a flow uh, for the, uh, the Syngenta uh, opening reception. That's right. yeah. Okay, so, so, so uh, now it's got to come apart. The same, I'm assuming, expediency mm. of not running things, and plus you pay for the time you have the building, right? Which is tomorrow night at Which midnight. Is Okay. Oh, tomorrow night. So we know. Oh, How about Saturday night? Okay, Let's we're working Saturday it out. Night. You're looking live as uh, we're figuring out when this is going to get cleaned Justin's up. We're looking live as having a heart attack. <laughs> as, yeah. as you're going to figure out how this is going to get cleaned up. I could stay. This the snow looks pretty bad yet. in Detroit tomorrow. I'm, I can zip this. No, I, you know, we, I'd like that yellow thing. Can I run that? I like that dumpster. Those yeah, I really think. nimble uh, ride-on dumpsters, you, you know, bigger than like a workman or something like that. If you do lots of projects and lots of builder things, I have to say, we sort of like, I mean, we're a bunch of people who like looking at stuff like that, and say, isn't that cool? And the, the pivot on the excavator I thought was exceptionally interesting, and that's of course giving guys the chance to uh, shape things uniquely uh, right. now, but it's going to get cleaned up. Have we decided when it's going to happen? Uh, don't mind us. Have we decided <laughs> when it's going to happen? No, the key thing is, is to be, uh, you know, we're sharing a lot of space. There's a lot of uh, exhibitors yeah. in here that need right. to move more material out than we even have, and so it's a matter of just, it, it, it's it, it's a yeah. You can't know, have people here when you you can't have a lot of people anywhere near because once you start deciding to go, just like a golf course job, you have to get it going. So it's going to get cleaned up yeah. to, to be. Yeah. You know, it's good for me. I'm out of here, <laughs> but not we, so good for you guys. We are scheduled to. We actually know, hadn't figured out how we were going to get out of here yet. That's yeah, why right. we hadn't decided. Gonna be good. I, I, I thought we'd get some grill <laughs> lights and just. Well, leave let's. It. How about we just we're take it on faith? We're going to get out of here. It's going to get out. And of eventually, here. we're going to go to San Diego next year, where I hope it's a lot sunnier and yes. a lot warmer. Not that I don't love San Antonio, but we have not had good weather here the last couple of I times. Know. And what else are you going to complain about when you're having fun like we are? Yes. What is planned for San Diego? So um, we've been we've been brainstorming been about because this know. is okay. Here's the problem: you're now going to be a victim of your own success, apparently, because this I think went over pretty well That's with. It's a folks. good problem to have. We've learned along the way as we've done these, um, especially when you incorporate the education and partner with those that are exhibiting within this right. area. Right. You know, we we've learned a lot about how to make this better each time, and you know, I think that we have an opportunity <laughs> to take some of these more static display areas, yeah. like a bunker, yeah. and actually go and drop it at a certain location in the trade show, making that, that person's booth. That way, yeah. you know, it's an opportunity for them. I bet that, so will you guys build those, or would you outsource that kind of work to trade show people? Building those little bunkers? pockets, these little things that oh, you build no, for to, people. To do it right, it's just like anything in the golf industry. You know, we're going to employ the Golf Course Builders Association members, so it's done Beautiful. the best way it can be. Excellent, and even without our, drainage. Yeah. Well, if they may need it, we'll see. <laughs> but and we, so, 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 we have a little bit of an expedited build because when we go to San Diego, we've had this building since Friday, but when we go to San Diego, we only contract the building starting Sunday. So, Next and I'm year, assuming so that the show's. What's, what's this? No, I'm just okay, so this is great. <laughs> we should get the contract, bring it up here, negotiate in front of everybody. Yeah, how much time? Good really lighting. embrace Let's go. transparency here. So it sounds like you've got. You can see things. how these things come together. Well, I, yeah, it listen, is. Listen, here's the best part of this. I've already gotten good feedback, even for a Thursday afternoon. There's quite a few people still wandering around, yeah, okay. and I think partly it's because it's a bit chilly outside still, yeah. and people want to be inside. So that's not a, not the worst problem. Looks like it was well designed. This was a big wow. It ultimately comes down to the partnerships. I know that all the associations that function really well typically have good leadership. The GCSA, of course, has a long period of good leadership. You look like you're leading a pretty good organization. How about I give you a minute to give me a plug for the golf course builders so responsible and integral mm -hmm. in making Absolutely. this happen? Because hey, let's face it, <laughs> you build stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> and so I'll start right with that. We obviously represent the golf course builders uh, that, uh, that do the renovation work, the irrigation install, and the new construction uh, around the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but one thing that our, our, our name uh, doesn't show us, we're also the suppliers of the materials and the, the right. items that would go into the golf course construction right. process. And, and it so, makes sense, You're, they call it linearly, vertically integrated. Exactly. Vertically yeah. integrated. You got the materials, you need to have the equipment to manage the materials, you might as well get talented people, mm -hmm. right? Shapers, yep, listen, shapers are like equipment technicians. No one's messing around with those people, That's right? right? You, you want to make sure you have them. So thank you very much both for joining oh, us. Thank you very much. We are out of time, but 
we have absolutely, at least I have, I don't know what the people around me think, but I have certainly liked being out here feeling like you're outside at a golf tournament. Now, yeah, I don't look is... as good as Jim, Jim Nance, but I am, in <laughs> fact, at the 2018 Golf Industry Show here in San Antonio. GCSA TV brought to you live by Lebanon Turf. We'll be right back after my pal Tim Hires' golf club at Madeira talks about the Platinum Pass Fallon they installed. And when we come back, we will be chatting with Tim Hires and a conversation could ensue about the railroad industry. We'll be awesome. right back. Thank you very much.